I use social media to help me with real estate. One thing we're going to do is people have been asking out, how do you do a 3D caricature of yourself? I posted one and people wanted the prompt. So I'm going to give you the prompt and I'm going to show you how to do it because I thought I know as soon as I post this, people are going to ask questions. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen chat GPT four. So a lot of you are like, oh, I can't find it. OK, look for the one with the it's a like a light teal with a little white thing in it. And it says chat.openai.com chat.openai.com okay only thing you want to look at right now is up here in this corner it says chat gpt4 you want to use four and yes it does cost about 16 to 20 dollars a month um, because this is how you're going to use uh make these is with this dolly all right so we have choices one the easiest way to try it is just type it in so we're going to say create a 3d illustration of a 50 year old woman with a platinum mohawk medium build medium build and height so kind of know the image of the person that you're thinking of and be the very descriptive of them maybe pull up a picture of them when you're writing it out so that you can describe what they look like so put as much detail in here as you can possibly so she is wearing a pair of bright pink coveralls and white slide on canvas shoes. Also, she is wearing small silver dangly earrings and I'm going to use black cat eye thin rimmed eyeglasses. Okay, so let's think about anything else. Oh, have her walking away from a luxury home. So this is what it says. Create a 3D illustration of blank, fill in the blank, like say, what does she look like? Physically her face, what is she wearing? What um, what uh, details can you say about it? Like, I, oh, I'm also gonna add in here that uh, she's smiling. Um, she is smiling and has a positive look on her face. Now, I'm going to also copy this because we're going to take this somewhere else in just a second just to show you some another way to do it. Okay, so we're going to push go. Let's see what happens. Say, let's see what happens. It says understanding question. So ways you can use this right now, it's just going to start creating. Okay, so it's creating image. And I'm always interested to see like what turns out. A couple of key things. Don't ever include words. Like don't say it's leaning against the word luxury because it'll put up there like duck, the word duck or um, just some foreign language that doesn't even make sense of any kind. So words are not at strength. Also, before you use the image, always check the hands because they seem to, oh girl, so she is not cute, right? He does not look like me. So she kind of does. Okay, so then you tweak it. Okay, okay, this is not a platinum mohawk. This is a buzz cut. So I'm going to say here, but right now I'm going to redo the whole thing, uh, a platinum mohawk. The middle part is stands up and the sides are shaved close. Okay. Also, I don't love her. She's okay. Her, her teeth are too big for me, right? I don't have that big of teeth. I guess I kind of do. <laughs> like when you look right there, it's not that bad. Um, and like, she's a little bit heavier. So maybe she's uh, like, I'm a little bit heavier than her. My neck is not that long. So just kind of look at it and go, okay, how can I tweak it? So let's try again. So all I added this time was that I wanted the actual mohawk. And so let's see what it does. I don't mind the glasses. I don't mind the eyes. I like the coveralls. They're kind of fun. So let's see. And you can also say you want it to be more Disney Pixar-ish, or you would like it to be more realistic looking. So you can play with the, with the terms to create different images. You could also like, let's say you want to create this for a marketing piece for Valentine's Day, put her in a Cupid suit or him or them. Uh, you could, there's so many ways you could use it. Okay. That's a little bit better, closer. She looks too old. So, and she's too skinny. Okay. I'm going to say, make her a little younger and fatter. All right. Let's see what happens. I don't know what this thing is keeps popping up, but we're going to stop. That looks okay, but I don't love her. So let's see if it'll do it. Oh, I didn't tell it what eye color I have. So it just has an eye color in there. And also I like it more cartoon looking than rest than uh, realistic looking. 
I'm sure there are people out there who know how to do this way better than me. I am learning and I'm sharing and I'm having fun. And so that's how I like to do things. Let's learn and share and have fun. All right. Okay. She's a little bit better, but she's still too skinny for me and too young. But I like the rug. Okay. It's got some wins in it. All right. I'm going to go back to my original prompt. I'm going to share it again. I'm going to just say, because she's about the right age. Let's just say 40. They had 52 old with a platinum mohawk uh, high in the middle. Medium to, let's see, I'm just gonna say large, large build and average height. She is smiling and has a positive look on her face. I like the look on her face. She's wearing a pair of bright pink coveralls and a and white slide on canvas shoes. She's wearing a small silver danger earrings. Okay, her lips are really full of that one, but that's not me. So we'll see what it does this time. So you play with it a few times. Don't get lost in the weeds on this. This is not gonna create millions of dollars for you. It is a fun way to create an image of yourself for marketing, of your clients, of potential clients. Uh, you could do fun stuff in your neighborhood, like create a picture of your neighborhood, describe it, let it create it for you. So many fun things that can happen with this. Now, another thing you can do, if you'd like a more concise uh, list of what actually to include, there's a trick that might help those of you who are list oriented okay there she is i like her a little bit better she looks a more more like me i'm going to save that one so robin in pink it's not perfect but it's dang close right so i could sit and play with it some more and say yeah i want her to be a little bit more chunky i want more lipstick and i want cat glasses or whatever it is but right here i could use this robin man realtor who's the real man right <laughs> because that's my last name, man. Yeah. Um, so that, okay, last thing just to show you, I do like to try this. So go over to Google, and if you'd like to pay $4 a month, it's called Prompt Genie. It's prompt-genie, G-E-N-I-E.com. What this does is you take that same prompt that you created and you put it into Prompt Genie, and it will um, create a better language for you to use to take it to ChatGPT to create. So I'm going to say, I want chat GPT to create a 3D illustration of a 50 year old woman with platinum mohawk, with a platinum mohawk hair, tall in the middle, medium build and height. She is smiling and has a positive look. She's wearing a bright pair of pink coveralls and white slide on canvas shoes. She's also wearing a small dangly earrings and a black cat. Blah, 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 blah. Have her walking away from a luxury home. You could also have her sitting on beside a tree or whatever it is. So let's see what happens if we generate this prompt. Now, I haven't tried this, so it could be totally wrong. What the goal is, is to have them have Prompt Genie created in a language that's gonna be more concise for, um, there we go, so we want, so that um, it can be used and you can use it, just, just fill in these blanks all the same time, okay? All right, so what you would do is this. You are a chat bot designer tasked with instructing chat GPT to build a 3D illustration. Okay, it's gonna say follow these things. All right, I think this is gonna work. We'll see. All right, so there's one Robin Pink. Let's see what happens with this one with the Prompt Genie version of instructions. So again, this is just a fun thing. You don't have to spend hours on it, but it would be fun, you know create your sisters and your brothers and your dad and your mom and your dog. And like I did one of someone's dog this morning. It was super fun. I put it in a Cupid suit for Valentine's day. So this is an easy way to do illustrations where you don't have to draw. Ha! You just have to type words. But if you can't type words, you can poke. <laughs> you can even talk to text. If you can't type words, let's see what they make. Okay. She's too skinny, but she is what they say. Now I'm going to say, make her less tall and heavier and more cartoonish let's see what happens all right it's coming let's see what they make oh <laughs> all right we're gonna leave on that i don't hate her it probably is more my body type but i would go back in and play with this a little bit more but you guys get the idea totally you could take this and run with it and have a bunch of super fun stuff i'm robin man if you had fun please join me i'm gonna have a youtube channel 
It's the Robin Man on all the Instagram, TikTok, and on Facebook. I'm Robin Merzinski Man. So I have a daily call, 915 to 945. I'd love to see you there. Check out my link for instructions on how to get part of it. All right, see you soon.